how to get your Weebly website to rank higher in search engines such as Google. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can increase traffic and visitors to your Weebly website by increasing the search engine optimization of your Weebly site. So the first thing I'm gonna actually do is go to the settings panel. So as you can see, I'm already logged into my Weebly site. And if I go up here to where it says settings, I'm gonna do some adjustments here so that I can make sure my website is better optimized for Google. So the first thing I notice here is it says in the general tab is the site title. Now you can use this in one or two ways. You might wanna use this site title to actually put your company name or to put you know, a different kind of slogan or something. Um, you might want to use it as a keyword rich site title. So what do I mean by keyword rich? So whatever keywords you're trying to rank for in Google, you may want to use it here in your site title. So let's say for example, um, I was selling cars and I wanted my site to rank for something like car seller in London. So if I wanted to rank for that, I might put that in my site title. Like I said, you might not wanna do this. You might actually want to put your company name or your company slogan there. It depends and then you want to click on the save tab so that it actually saves it so the second thing I want to speak to you about is this search engine optimization tab here this obviously is one of the most important tabs in terms of ranking your website in the search engines so site description this is where you can you know you want to explain what your site is all about give your site a little bit of a description make sure you add the keywords that you're trying to rank for there so again if I was trying to rank for uh, car seller in London then I'll make sure that it's in there so um, this website is all about car sellers in London or something like that like this is just a random example um, I'm, I'm kind of rushing through this just to, to get to get to the point here but you want to spend some time here and make sure that your keywords are, are in your site description and that your keywords are in your meta keywords down here which is the second tab and down um, what you want to do is scroll all the way down to where it says Google Webmaster Tools code and you what this is a code that Google gives you so that they know that your website is live so what you're going to do to activate that is actually go to Google Webmaster Tools I'll leave the link to Google Webmaster Tools down below and when you register for your Google Webmaster Tools account, it's really easy to register. You just need a, a Gmail account and you can set it up straight away. If you click the link in the description to Google Webmaster Tools, it will take you to this website. And once you've actually signed in, literally all you need to do is add a property. And this is the URL of your website. Just paste the URL of your website there and then follow the instructions and it will give you a code. And once you get that code, you simply come back to your Weebly website and you paste it here where it says Google Webmaster Tools header code. Uh, you simply paste it in there and that just notifies Google that your website is actually live and that you are the owner of your website. You wanna add two websites to your Google Webmasters Tools account. So when you come up here, you'll notice that for example, I've got www.daytips.com registered and daytips.com registered because to us it might seem like that's the same website but remember Google's not a human being it's a robot so you want to make sure that Google realizes that that, that they're not that they're the same website so add both of them now I'm also going to speak about adding a blog to your website if your website if your Weebly website at the moment doesn't have a blog a blog is basically dynamic content or content that is updated regularly and the most fresh blog post or the most fresh article will be the first thing that people see when they come to your um, blog. And the reason why having a blog is so important for search engine optimization is that Google like websites that are updated frequently, they like fresh content. So if, you're, if I was a car seller in London, then I would write articles related to selling cars in London or related to whatever my industry is, industry news or whatever it is, to keep my website updated and to keep my website relevant 
and it, this will send signals to Google that you know my website has been updated frequently. I'll rank in Google as a result for more relevant key terms, and it's just it's just a really great way to build up credibility and to to build up um, authority in the search engines. So as you can see, I'm actually in the blog settings here, and one of the things that you're going to want to do is make sure you moderate your comments. So it has comments here you can require approval now the reason why you might want to require approval is because there are a lot of websites that want to spam your website just to get what's known as uh, backlinks to their site so um, you might notice that your blog comments has a lot of spam so you might want to moderate that another thing is the smart capture so this is where people actually have to enter a smart capture code before they're allowed to submit a comment for the same reason because you know to avoid spam so if you want to add a blog to your website you simply come up here to where it says pages and then you click on this tab here and then you can add a blog page but as you can see uh, this website here already has a blog page so I'm going to click on that and it will allow me to edit my blog so I can have a tall header or a short header this basically is just a, a header for your website so if you click there you can edit this and again whatever your keyword is I would suggest putting it here in the title um, or maybe a variation of your keyword you don't want to be too spammy with your keyword here you want to make it as, as natural as possible so you're not only writing for the search engines but you're writing for human beings as well so it makes sense when people actually arrive on your website um, and after you've added the, the tool header you want to come down to the advanced section add a page title um, so your page title needs to be keyword rich as well so whatever keywords you're targeting you can put them in your page title and then in your description you can put keywords there as well but obviously make it a little bit more descriptive and in your meta keywords these are just keywords with a comma so whatever keyword that you want to add you can put it there in a comma so you know whatever keywords you're trying to rank for just put the keyword then put a comma and then put the keyword so now I'm actually going to go and show you how you should construct your actual blog posts so if you go down here where it says new post you can create a new blog post so each and every blog post that I actually create is another opportunity for me to rank higher in search so although my website my overall website my homepage I might want it to rank for something like car seller in London my blog posts are going to be similar to that keyword but not exactly the same necessarily so I might this blog post might be car seller in London or how I became a car seller in London or something like that or how to become a car seller in London or something like that something that's relevant to my keyword not necessarily identical to it but something that's relevant so you know this might be how uh, to become a car seller in London um, so your keyword is car seller in London but you know this is you're trying to rank for another keyword as well now this keyword might not get as much traffic um, than your homepage keyword but that doesn't matter because um, you know you're trying to create relevant content here and rank for different different kind of terms as well so you can literally just drag text here and start writing out your content so whatever it is I uh, became a car seller in 1990 or whatever and what you're going to want to do is add your your um, keywords sparingly inside your content as well so you might add you know it, you might have a paragraph and then you add your keyword somewhere there and then you might have another paragraph and then add your keyword again and then you might want to add a variation of your keyword so instead of um, maybe using the word London, you might want to use a specific location in London. So you want to kind of vary it as well. You don't want to use the same keyword again and again and again. Use it two or three times in your disc or in your actual content and then maybe use different variations of the keyword um, and then focus on creating quality content. So with the other pages of your website as well, you can also optimize them um, for search engines doesn't just have to be your blog page I just use that as an example but let, let, for example if you wanted your about page to rank you can do the same thing so add a header here with your with a keyword and again this might be a different keyword than the one you're trying to rank for on your home page 
um, and then you can write out your content. So whatever your title is, you might have a variation of your keyword there as well. And within your content here, you might have variations of your keyword again. And then like we've done for the blog, um, you can have the advanced search, type in the, title, the page title, and that can have the keyword for this specific page. The page description, so whatever you want this specific page to rank for in Google, you can actually put um, your keywords in here and then obviously you want to add your meta keywords there as well. Um, another thing I wanted to point to your attention was the Google Keywords tool. Now I'll leave a link to this in the description down below, but this is where you can actually search for keywords. If you don't know what keyword you want your website to rank for, then this is a really cool tool to use. So literally, all you need again is a, is a Google um, account and once you're logged in, you just go to tools and then you go to the what's called the keyword planner tool and then under search you want to click the downward arrow and then you might type something like car seller in london and this is going to give you the search volume that you know people actually actively type into google to find certain things so you will know whether a keyword gets a lot of traffic or or not so this specific keyword that i typed in doesn't have much search volume. You can see that average monthly searches, it doesn't have anything here. But all of the keywords that do get a lot of searches are used cars, London. So that gets 1,900 average monthly searches. And if I click this here, it will actually uh, list the keywords by what gets the most search traffic. So you can see used cars gets a lot of search traffic. Used cars for sale gets a lot of search traffic. 450,000 um, but the one thing I want to point out here is you don't want to go for keywords that are very very general you want to go for keywords that have longer phrases so for example used cars although it gets a lot of traffic a lot of people type that in it's a very vague very specific keyword and it's going to be very difficult to rank for it in Google used car for sale that's still a very vague keyword very, still a very competitive keyword to go for but it's it's a lot easier you have to remember that when you're building out your website and you're starting your website you're not really going to get a lot of um you know you're, you're not, your website doesn't have a lot of authority yet so you're not going to be able to compete with some of the bigger websites so what you want to look for is uh keywords that have four or five words in them to start off with you know maybe secondhand cars uk or how to buy a used car um cheap used cars for sale these are the kind of keywords that you're going to want to try and rank for because they're a little bit, a little bit broader. Um, they're, they're a little bit less competitive. And, um, you know, you might not necessarily want to go for the keywords that have, you know, thousands and thousands of, of search volumes. Um, at first, you might want to go for ones that have less search volume, maybe ones like this, used car dealers, London, on Ontario. So you might want to go for that, even though it only has 170 searches because that's going to be an easier term for you to rank for when your website is fairly new. Now, another way to find um, kind of longer tail keywords that are easier to rank for is by using what's known as latent semantic indexing. Now, it sounds complicated, but it's simply just the suggested um, search results. So, for example, if I wanted to rank to a term that was similar to buy a car London, I can actually copy that and paste it into Google and Google will show me suggested terms that are similar to this, but maybe more longer tail or maybe more in-depth and detailed keywords. So uh, for example, buy a car London office, buy a car London, you know, those are the keywords that I might want to go for because they're longer tail keywords. And also if I scroll right down to the end of the page, these are all search searches related to buy a car in London. So I may not be able to rank for some, such competitive terms as um, buy a car in London, but if I type the term into Google and come down here, then I might find some really useful ideas um, as to what I can target my blog post around or my website around. Um, so it's related keywords that are easier to target and easier to rank for, um, but that are still kind of will bring me some traffic to my website. So hopefully this video helped you to realize how you can rank your Weebly website in search engines such as Google. If it did, then please click the like button down below. If you have any comments or additional questions, then please leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos and learn how to advertise your website even further. 
subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.